Let's talk about automation. I'm doing well. This is a beautiful cell with a lot of answers to questions that people didn't know they had questions for, but let's talk about automation. Absolutely. So this is our Methods RoboDrill Plus K60 system. Uh, we've worked with Fanuc specifically to integrate the system onto their Fanuc RoboDrill. And we did this with a fully integrated solution using Robot Interface 2 on the machine. So on this machine here, we have 60 pallets in the front and an additional 44 tools on the side rack there. And it turns a traditional vertical milling center into more of a horizontal type machining center where you see multiple pallets in that type of solution. So here you can see all of, and you just saw all the different types of pallets we can introduce into the system with from pallet vices to HWR vices, and you can even see our max part sizes that we can run in the system. And this is all done right through the screen of the control. We need an operator that's knowledgeable on robotics to run this machine. We have a full pallet management system here, and you can see the statuses of all your pallets. You can even jump in and manage them. Every single pallet can have a different program if you're interested in doing that. Or if you have high volume, you can make them all the same with a collective change. So this system's really set up to do high mix, low volume, or super high volume if you need it to. It really sounds like one of those things too good to be true. I mean, are you kidding? 60 pallets where I can do 60 of the same job or 60 different jobs all in one setup, and it's that easy to control. Absolutely. For the operator, it's as simple as using a standard robo-drill. You don't need to learn how to use a robot. Well, what I know about a robo-drill as well is typically we have 21 and too many pallets. How do I compensate for redundant tooling if I only have 21 tools? So this system, you're still using the 21 tools in the turret to make your parts, but the 44 additional tools on the side rack of the machine, if you want to go take a look Let's at that. Let's go take a look. Yes, please. These 44 tools are meant to make it so you can change over between all those various jobs you're going to fill in these 60 pallets, as well as put redundancy. So if you're cutting a harder material and your tool life's low, you can absolutely put redundancies out here, set up your tool life manager, and have the robot grab tools after one wears out or one snaps or whatever it might be. You guys have the answer to all the questions, don't you? We try to. <laughs> well, when I see this, you're exactly right. Now, that's why I brought it up. I actually knew this was here, obviously for the 21 tools because I wanted you to go into that. And you're right, and I know they talked about it over there with Paul as well, was the redundancy of tools because the 30 tapered uh, robo drills are able to cut that. So if we're doing a, a softer material, we can have all of these tools be individual tools and just run a ton of parts within the machine. You guys really have put it all together. When it comes to the world of automation, as we're talking about this as a whole, where do you see automation in the shops? Because I see these beautiful yellow colors everywhere. Let's just talk real briefly about automation as a whole. It's only increasing, right? Labor rates are just getting harder and harder to keep up with. Finding people's getting harder and harder too, right? How's that being solved with Fanuc Robots? Fanuc Robots, and we see the beautiful yellow everywhere. Oh my gosh, is that Kevin behind me? It is. Kevin, how are you, how my you friend? Been? Good to see you. It's been a while. How are you? I'm living a dream, man. It's good to see you. How's the show been for you it's so far? Excellent, excellent. Super busy. These things are super popular because they're so versatile. It's been great. It's been really good to see everybody. It's been a long time since we had a live show, so this is excellent. Nothing like having hands on, but with that being said, let's send it over to Paul. I know we have some more technology to talk about over there. Thank you both for joining us on MTD. See you, big man. Good to see you. Thank you, Tony.